Hello everybody, this is uh, the notes for a rotation. Uh -huh. Sorry it's been so late, I've been having an issue with recording this thing and uh, I've tried a couple different things so hopefully this one works. Alright, we are talking about rotating. So, to do a rotation you need to know a couple of things. Well first off, a rotation, you're just spinning something around, a circle. Okay, so to know a rotation, to do a, to do a rotation, you need to know what is it you're rotating, what are you rotating around, okay? You do a rotation, you're spinning around a fixed point, and you need to know how much are you rotating. So, I'm going to start by rotating triangle ABC 80 degrees clockwise around a point D. That's this point down here. So, we know which direction we're rotating, we know how much we're rotating, and we know what we're rotating around. Now, clockwise is going to rotate this way. So, to do this, I'm going to put my compass here at point D. I'm going to set the radius to point A. Lock it in place. As point A rotates around point D, it's going to be following this circular path. So I'm just making an arc. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do is you don't have to do this every time, but uh, it just helps show the idea of an 80 degrees. I'm just going to very lightly draw in a segment connecting the point I'm rotating and the point um, that we're rotating around. Then I'm going to set my protractor to uh, that line. Okay, The vertex is at the point D. The zero degree mark is lined up right there with A. And I'm just going to go around 80 degrees. And it just happened to be that's where point A is going to be at, or point A prime. All right, Point A rotates around the circle, and by putting that little tick mark there for 80 degrees, as point A travels around the circle, it goes 80 degrees of an angle. There's point A prime. All right. So we don't need to have these lines here, but it gives you that visualization of it's 80 degrees. So now, I'm just going to work my way out. I'm going to go to point B. Again, setting the compass at D, the center of rotation. Set the radius to point B, the next point of rotation. And it's going to follow this path. So I'm going to do the same thing. Now, here's a little issue. Okay, It looks like I'm lined up here with B for 0 degrees, but I'm not really certain. So I'm just going to use that dash line again. Very lightly, it's not really part of the drawing, but I just need to see it. So, vertex of the protractor at point D, zero degree mark, lined up with that little dash line I just drew. 80 degrees is right there. I'm going to set the straight edge here at D and that tick mark. Point B is following this path, so i got to put my mark right there. That is where point B prime is going to be. Okay, and we're just going to repeat the process here for point C. Lock it into place. Point C will travel around this path. And again, it's, it's going to be too far, so I'm going to use a straight edge to connect point C to point D. That gives me my zero degree mark. So I line up the protractor, vertex at point D, zero degree right on that line, 80 degrees. I'm going to go on the inside here. There's 80 degrees, this point. So my straight edge lines up to D. That little tick mark, point C is going to be following this path around. There is where point C prime will be. And so now I just reconnect the points. To form the image, triangle A prime, B prime, and C prime. Okay, so you can see how point or this triangle ABC rotated around, landing here at A prime, B prime, C prime. That's how you do a rotation with a compass and a protractor. Okay, um, there are a couple problems on that worksheet that you'll you'll get from my site um, that asks for a 200 degree rotation. Well, the protractor only goes up to 180. 
So we can't really do a 200 degree. Now, let's say it's a, I think it says 200 degrees counterclockwise. So if here is point D that we're rotating around and we're going to rotate point A 200 degrees counterclockwise, that's going to be around here. There's A prime. But the protractor only does 180. So go the other direction. If you go rotate this way clockwise, instead of doing 200 degrees that way, you're just going to do 160 degrees clockwise. But it's going to put you at the exact same spot. Okay, 160 degrees is on the protractor, so it works much easier. Otherwise, you'd have to do 180 degrees and then measure another 20 degrees. It's a hassle. Just go 160 the opposite direction around the circle. Okay, that is it for this section. Uh, we're not talking about any coordinates yet. We're going to come back to rotations in a little bit. I uh, hope you're still having a good vacation. Bye.